Today is the perfect timing to build a great reputation, especially when the recession is here. When the recession is here, it's gonna filter out the weak one. It is going to make the strong one, the real deal, stand out from the rest of the pack. So when I talk about reputation, a lot of people think reputation is about building big success. It's about making a lot of money so people admire their income. Uh, reputation for someone could be say, you know what, I wanna be an influential person that has millions of followers that's following my advice and strategies and philosophies and whatnot. Now, even though those are also good ways to define somebody's reputation, right? Today, I'm not talking about reputation of success, reputation of income, reputation of influence where you have millions of followers. Today, I'm talking about building a reputation of trust. You see, just because you're making a million dollars a year just because you have a lot of followers does not mean people i'm talking about average and ordinary people trust you so whatever line of business that you are in right now whatever industry you're in right now you have to think about what can you do today to build a reputation that when people think about that particular profession or that particular uh, career uh, or product line they think of you right that's the key how, how do you gain that, that type of reputation where people trust you? Everything they think about, every time they think about, for example, life insurance, they think about your name. Every time they think about real estate, they think about your name. They're thinking about your name, it's not, again, it's not about how much money you're making or whatever. They're thinking about you, it's because they trust you. I'll give you an example of what I mean by that. Uh, literally on uh, today, is, uh, as I'm filming this video today, it's uh, Wednesday. Last Thursday evening, I got a strange text from an unknown number that I, it's not safe on my phone. And the text was saying that, listen, you know, uh, can you please call me back? My father passed away. Uh, my father purchased a life insurance policy from one of your agent many years ago, but he recently passed away. So we want to make a claim. So when I saw the text is unknown, usually when I get texts like that, number one, I block that number or number two, uh, I just don't reply because it's a lot of scam out there, right? But for that particular text, uh, I, I, I know it's real, all right? Let's put it that way, I know it's real. And I'm in the insurance business, by the way. A lot of you have been following my contents. I've been doing insurance for over 27 years now. Start as a sales guy, become a manager, become a director, become an executive, and ultimately I became a chairman of a financial firm, right? So. Typically, when, when, when a customer need anything, if it's just like little minor stuff, admin stuff, I call my assistant and handle all those kind of minus admin stuff, whatever the clients need. Return the call right after, right after the back and taking care of them. But for this particular, you know, scenario, someone, father passed away. It's really, really, you know, they're going through a lot of painful experience and moment because I lost my dad when I was 15 years old. And I know how that feels like when you lost your loved one, especially your dad, you know, in this particular case. So I decided to pick up the phone call and call the gentleman back. And I am going to call this gentleman. His name is Bill. His name is not Bill, but I'm just making it up. His name is Bill. And I said, Bill, and I introduced myself. I said, you got my number. And I said, how do you get my number? He said, I got your number because I called an insurance company. And apparently, the writing agent who sold his father's policy literally 11 years ago, no longer working in our company, and he already moved on and doing something else. And uh, so they passed my number, my personal number to this, you know, uh, particular client's son, right, Bill, right? Understand one thing in the insurance business, the writing agent already made all the money. The writing agent made all the mo money. The servicing agent, in this case, I'm servicing him, you know, you don't get any money. See, most of the agents, most of the people, most of the sales guys, they only look at money as the number one priority. When there's no commission, there's no money, there's no, no, no incentive, they don't call back, they don't follow up, they don't serve their customer, right? That, that, that is an average agent. What makes somebody great, what makes somebody a great agent, a great sales guy is they will add value. They are willing to add extra value, go extra mile, knowing the fact that they're not gonna get paid because they understand by doing so, they're building up an amazing reputation, number one, for the industry, for the company they're working with, and also indirectly, miraculously, organically, they're also building that reputation 
for themselves in the long haul. So that's what I did. And I called the clients back, spent a lot of time on the phone and find out who, who you know, the beneficiary of the policy is not even this son, it's another son. The next morning I got on the phone and I was, you know, uh, through the email, I'm sorry, to email the beneficiary, which is the other son, let's call him Larry in this case, and communicated. I called the insurance carrier, figured out what is the process, making sure the customer know what the process is to claim the death benefit in this case. And I found out who were the beneficiary and all that stuff and got all the information. So in less than 24 hours, I was able to uh, help this particular client to fill out the claim form and everything and send it back to the insurance company. We're waiting for the insurance claim to pay out, hopefully very soon here. So here's the moral of the story. The moral of the story is not that I want to self-promote. What an amazing sales guy, what an amazing person I am. No, that's not it. The main message that I wanna share with you is that it's easy to serve people when you make a lot of money. It, everybody can be nice, extra sweet, to a customer you want to get because you want to you know you make money if you close that account whatever you're trying to sell right but it's extremely difficult to continue to add value to people's life to serve a customer when you also know you're absolutely not getting paid but you're not getting paid on commissions but most people don't understand is that when you are willing to do the extra stuff serving people when you're not expecting anything in return and you still do it out of your heart because that's the right thing to do it will pay you very handsomely as a matter of fact hundred folks back in the future what people don't understand is that when you do those kind of little things without expecting anything in return and do it consistently with people around you people is going to talk behind your back in a good way in this scenario they will gossip about you in a good way they will talk about to other people say, hey, I met this agent, ba 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 ba. You know, I'm it's so amazing. This individual returned my call and still helped me in this scenario. Now, the reputation of trust start to build up. And if you do it long enough, consistently enough, a lot of people start to talk about you. A lot of people start to refer you to other customers. A lot of people will connect you to people that you never be able to connect to. So over the years, I know one thing, man, you're one handshake from success. You're one connection from, you know, have the biggest turning point of your life. And, and if, you have, if I think about a lot of things I did over the years, one of the things I can tell people is that I, I was always willing to do things for free. I was always willing to add value to people's life without expecting anything in return. You know, universe is gonna favor you. You, you, you're gonna be favored in a very big way. You don't know what it is yet, I can't tell you what it is yet, but I can tell you, I have been favored for so many times. Miraculously, a lot of things happening. Somehow, I make a left turn, I bump into the right person. I make a right turn, I have the right connection. I made a U-turn, it's saving me money. I go forward, it made me more money. I don't know what it is, but start to build a reputation of trust. And the only way you can do that is to do the extra stuff and expecting nothing in return. If you're willing to do that consistently, you're gonna have a phenomenal reputation in your line of business and people's gonna start to trust you. When they trust you, money is gonna follow automatically. If today's message adds some kind of value into your life and business, subscribe to my YouTube channel, post a comment below, share this video to anyone that needs to hear this message today. All right, see you soon. JW here, take care. JW here. If you like my content, comment below and download my JW Just Win app. See you next time.